Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome to my channel, Mixed Media Karen. Today I'm going to share with you a page that I've made in my mini Dina Wakely journal um, using mainly Dina Wakely products. So I've already pre-gessoed my, my pages, which you probably really don't need to do, but they were um, had colours on them from from um, other projects and I've just got some paint and I've squirted it onto my page and now I'm just painting it in quite randomly um, the colours just adding in a little bit more yellow there um, the colours that I've used are sky, carnation, fuchsia, lemon, eggplant, turquoise and heather so once that's dry, I've got some um, of Dina's collage papers and I've just um, ripped a few little bits out there and I'm just going to arrange those and then glue them into place. So I'm using a golden soft gel matte um, medium. I um, quite like it. It's, um, it's, it is a quite a nice product. Um, and um, it just leaves your surface with a nice matte finish so you can actually go over it with all sorts of different things and it's and it's not going to hurt. And those things will actually stick onto it, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, what else? I've got some of um, Dina's collage paper now. So this is just one of the background pieces with all the little people on it. So just using that just gluing that one in again again with the soft matte um, gel so I've put some underneath and then I've popped a layer over the top as well to help glue those pieces into place so now that that's dry I'm going to move on to the next part which is my stencil so again it's another one of Dina's it's a square square ovals I think squovals or something like that I think it's called and the colour I'm using is actually carnation and I've got a little makeup sponge so I'm getting a little bit better with my stenciling which I'm quite happy with I've had a few different lessons from a few different friends um and yeah less is definitely more <laughs> so yeah going going okay with the stenciling most of the time so that one there is another one of Dina's collage papers so it's the faces so I've just got one of the little faces um out of the pack I'm just going to trim around it just to help remove some of that excess white paper because when you actually glue it on you do get a bit of a shadow and I didn't particularly want that shadow around the face so again with my golden soft gel matte medium over the top and I'll just give her a bit of a dry make sure everything else is nice and dry before I start moving on this page was actually quite quite a quick one so now I've got my Tim Holtz um, mark making stamps and my white ink pad is a Jane from Jane Davenport. It's called Squid Ink. It's the best white ink pad I think I've ever had. Ever had. Um, a lot of different ones I've had are quite watery, um, but this one's not. It's actually a hybrid ink pad as well. So it's very versatile. So now I've got my Art by Marlene watercolours and I'm just going to do a little bit of painting on my collage papers, so on my girl's face, give her some rosy cheeks and a big blue eye which has got a little bit too much water in it so I'll mop that up in a minute. I'm just going to paint my people in different colours as well. So they look a bit more interesting as well quite like adding watercolours into my collages I think that's a really fun fun idea so I'm just adding some um, bit more highlights into my girl's face fixing up her eye where it was a big blob and I'm just going to dry that off quickly with my 
gun. I like to um, move my watercolours around a little bit with my heat gun as well, so blowing them back and forth over the top of each other and you get these really cool um, puddles and and um, water lines and things like that. So, yeah, that's fun. So now I'm almost finished. I'm just looking for a quote in my Tim Holtz snarky sticker book, um, which is really quite a cute one. So there you go. I hope you have enjoyed watching my little process video today. I um, hope I have inspired you to get your paints out and get art journaling. Please like and subscri subscribe to my video. See you next time.